Hi, I'm a professional organizer and here are some organizing tips for you. One thing I really love to organize, paper. Having a lot of paper can be very overwhelming. I've worked with many clients who are inundated with piles and piles of paper. I personally like to be as paperless as possible, but I still get mail, I still get papers from day to day, and I still have a system for that. I'm gonna show you mine and give you some tips on how to set yours up. So here's the paper situation. Here's the whole scope. Think about all the papers. They come through the door, they come through the mailbox, they come from your kids, they come in your purse, they come from work. And it's up to you to decide how much of that goes out and how much stays. Step one, incoming paper. Where does it live? For me, it goes in this inbox right here. Everything that lives here is stuff that's new and I have yet to decide on. Step two, deciding on what to do with all that new paper. It's either active, or it's reference, or it's trash. So active, reference, and trash. An active paper is something that you need to keep nearby so that you can move forward on it. It requires some type of action from you. Reference is something you would just file away. Trash is trash or recycle. So where do your active papers live? For me, it's the drawer underneath my inbox. If you have more paper though, your system has to be bigger and more detailed. For the reference papers, these are papers that require no action. They're simply just information that you need to reference in the future. What I like to do, I have a reference folder, accordion folder, and that's the gist of my system. If I have some type of project or packet, I like these clear zip folders. And again, if you have more paper, your system has to be bigger and more detailed. So if you have way more reference papers than accordion folder could have, you're gonna wanna get a file cabinet. Happy organizing.